Good afternoon, Lace Jumping Up John. This is many a true nerd and welcome to Expeditions of Mud Runner game, which is basically about the boring bits of archaeology. Because uh, have you ever noticed when archaeology shows up in, like, you know, games and films and whatnot, it's always uh, at the exact moment stuff gets exciting and action packed. Lara is already inside the tomb, Indiana already inside the temple. But how did they get there? What was the journey like to get to this out of the way temple and or tomb? Well, finally, thanks to expeditions, someone's made a game for people as boring as me. And yes, I see you down there in the comments say, John, that's bones. That would make this a paleontology game, not an archaeology game. And hold your horses, okay? This game's got both in it, all right? Okay, so this here is a driving game, but um. Yes, there are some rather significant differences next to most driving games. Number one being, yes, the machine you're driving is a bit on the complicated side. Like, you know, you've got a proper transmission you've got to be using, etc, etc. You know, put her in the right gear, turn the ignition to turn the engine on, remove the parking brake, etc, etc. And then, obviously, part two, we're in, like, you know, somewhat difficult conditions here. There's a lot of cocking mud, there's rocks in the way, there's trees, etc, etc, etc. So as a result of that, you know, driving's a bit on the tough side. You've got to be considering all sorts of complicated things. Like, say, tyre pressure. There might be times when you want to be changing your tyre pressure. Or more importantly, you might want to slide yourself into AWD mode, which... Okay, get a bit of some, I'm not 100% sure what that means. AWD mode can also be engaged or disengaged, which allows the torque to be sent to all driven wheels, uh, greatly improving off-road performance of the vehicle, but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. Okay, basically, it makes car go better, but also fuel tank empty quicker. Got it. So you know what, I've got this lovely light nippy car here that's apparently good for exploring and whatnot. So let's do baby's first mission right here though. Okay, straight away, we've run into some mud. Let's apply that torque thing. So now, yes, we could drive through the mud, but we're going to be eating fuel a lot faster. Marvellous. And uh, yes, we're just doing a very nice, quick, simple mission for the time being just to introduce the basics. So, uh, all right, I'm sending torque to my wheels, uh, which is good, uh, though, yeah, we're lacking in, um, in fuel a bit, which could be a problem because, yes, this small car, it's not got a very big fuel tank, but being as it is uh, small, though, I was about to say, don't worry, I can, you know, use my spare canisters of fuel, forgot to bring spare canisters of fuel, yeah, this is one of those games where you've got to be actually planning ahead and thinking properly about your journey and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to turn off the, um, torque McJibble just for the time being, because the road looks, you know, in pretty good shape right now, though, okay. Here's thing number two about this game, which is, uh, obviously, you can't just drive from point A to point B. No, 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 because there's cliffs in the way. Cliffs are bad. Cliffs would make you die. So, uh, as a result of that, yes, there's often a, a very good reason to potentially consider scouting ahead in some capacity or another. Here we go, a couple of good options. So yeah, we've got a drone we can just use to scout ahead or binoculars to, yeah, see what's going on in the distance. So right, just to get up into the world uh, and yes, use this to try and scout out your journey. So say, uh, yeah, if I just keep going to the right, then take a left, I can get down to, uh, yeah, here-ish, pretty on the easy side. That to me looks like a good starting point because uh, there's also, well... A river, but it does look a bit on the, um, deep side, now I look at it. So, I'd say we want to come down to here, take a right, then a mosey to here, and then, yeah, it's pretty flat, easy going to get to our destination. That big crashed plane over there, you see, not paleontology, archaeology. That's a man-made thing and not a living thing. Right, so back to the car here. Maybe try to avoid destroying too many cacti, etc, etc. So, okay. Mosey 2 are here. Be aware, of course, that, um, yes, there's a very real possibility my car is going to slip and slide and whatnot. I'm going to put her into low gear. So, we're slow and steady. So, now... Just to ease her down in this direction. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I've got some right. I've got some K 
cactus trapped under my car and also slightly rammed a thing. Obviously, my car's taking... Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, no. Okay, put it into reverse. All right, there we go. There we... No, no, no. Okay, that's that's probably fine. Back into automa... No, no. Do not tip over. This is why, yes, you want to be a bit careful on slopes and whatnot. No. That was barely a light tap. So, okay. We made it down the slope. That's fine. Now we take the right we were talking about. If need be, we can activate the fuel guzzling talk mode. Everything's going to be fine. And now, just a mosey. I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on a rock there. Okay, car, seriously. You know what? No. This is what the winch is for. You can just winch to anything, just like in SnowRunner, which I played uh, some years ago, you may recall. And yes, that can be very useful for... Like right now, for example, given I'm pretty sure I just got stuck on that there rock. So there we go. I can just uh, winch myself off that rock. Everything's going to be fine. Just all right, just mosey through here. I was definitely stuck on a rock there for a second. Every single rock could be a nightmare. That's, that's what you've got to be aware of in this game. So take your time. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. How precise am I supposed to, like, get over... Right, I'm going back into all talk mode. That makes life easier, so okay. I think I can just go straight down. Oh, hang on. What's the best... What's the best way to get all this? Right, I think there's a better way to go over in that direction. If I go over here, I think I can get down a bit easier. So okay, take a right. Just a mosey up here. All right, the car can... No, 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 no. Everything's... Everything's... Everything's fine. Right. To here. Take a left and then, yeah. Then there's a nice, easy slope down. I feel like there's not a nice, easy slope down. I feel like I imagine the nice, easy slope down. But I'm sure it's all going to work out. Actually, you know what? There is a bit of a nicer, easier slope down just right here to the end. Then just a gentle... We'll just reverse down. Reversing down will be fine too. That turns out to be like, you know, the correct way to do it. It's all fine. Right, we're now going to follow the dry riverbed in this direction. Might be a little bit on the bumpy side, but I'm pretty sure my tiny car can make it over it. Though... Okay, at this point, we're climbing rocks. So yeah, normal tire pressure is uh, fuel efficient. Very often you're trading fuel efficiency for how good does the car drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yeah, if I go over to slightly reduced pressure, we can get up rocks a lot more easily. So all right, put that in there. And we should be able to get at these rocks way easier. Why does letting your tires down let you climb rocks more easily? I don't know. I don't really know much about off-road driving. But I'm assuming there's real off-road science here. So just uh, follow the dry bed. That seems to be uh, the best option for my next marker. We're just doing a tiny little introductory mission here. This is all supposed to be nice and easy and right. Now we're on a proper steep slope. So probably, yeah, proper low pressure. And if we can, anything we could winch to would be ideal. So yeah, we're going to be in... Low gear. We're going to be all torquey. Okay, low gear might have been a mistake. We're going to be... Oh, never mind. I'm stuck in the mud. Back off a little bit. Back off. Don't go up the mud. Got the rocks. You've got the tyres set up to deal with the rocks. So actually, going up the rocks to avoid that muddy patch, that might be the better idea. And... Come on, little car. There we go. You see, that's what I like about this game. It actually makes you cocking think. Like, you know, it gives you all these tools in the basic tutorial. Then says, right, here's a mountain. Figure out how to get a truck to the top of it, you stupid bastards. Right, so we've made it to the top. And now we just do a tiny bit of a scanning mini game. Because we've located this plane. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to, like, scan it or whatnot. And I'm going to confirm with my visual inspection, that is in fact a plane. Though also someone appears to be living in it. So okay, next up we need to do a quick bit of uh, scanning. We're looking around the area, possibly trying to figure out, yeah, who lives here and how they live here. Fortunately, no one said the scouting needed to be done on foot. 
All right, you can send the drone around here. The trick is the drone can only go so far from where you are. Sometimes you need to go a little bit deeper into the surveying zone in order to let your drone do its job. Okay, before we nip back to the car, though, right, we need to figure out how precisely we're going to get down this cliff. Because, um, right, none of this looks good. Like, this over here... I mean, that's the best of a very, very bad bunch. I do not like the look of trying to get down that. Oh, I tell you what, no. No, no, no. That's over there. So, okay. We do not try and go down that. This is why you scout with the drone and why this game is lovely. So, okay, instead, we're going to mosey all the way over here. We're going to pick up some goodies on the way past too. And then we're going to loop down over there to get down a bit. Marvellous. Right, this is going to now turn away from the cliff. And there's some free goodies right there. So, okay. Spotted them with drone straight over to you. Life is good. I like this game. This game is... Oh, don't. No, no, no. Don't. Don't fall down the cliff. Don't fall down the cliff. Okay, I specifically said don't. So, okay. Got myself a new airdrop. Getting me a right... Some dinosaur bones back to the paleontology together with uh, some scrap so I can, you know, fix up my car and whatnot. And uh, an anchor. Now, anchors are really rather cocking useful because, yes, that's basically a, a grip point I can attach my winch to. Oh, and that's really useful, actually, because I'm going to be honest, yeah. It looks to me like maybe the way to get down here is not quite as easy as I was anticipating. Like, you know, I could go this way, through, like, at some water, then through a very narrow rocky chasm. Or, I could use those anchors I was just given. This, by the way, is a terrible idea. I've never done this before, and it's going to go horribly, horribly wrong. But we're going to give it a go, damn it. So, activate, yes, my lovely inventory. And then we're just going to slap down an anchor right here... And now, we're just going to use the anchor to basically abseil down this cliff, but in a car. Okay, pull, pull me back up. We're not, we need, we need to be a bit straighter going down, otherwise we might fall over when we get to the bottom, okay? Just, no. No, 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 no. Just, just br bring her back up here. Bring her back up. Everything's going to be... This isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Okay, okay, just here we go, here we go. I think we've, I think we might have her, actually. I think we might have her. Okay, everything's maybe just a bit. No, 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 no. Everything's, it's all gonna be fine. Okay, but is it possible? Oh, hang on. No, 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 stop, stop. We've actually just rolled over to the correct position. Meaning now we release the winch. And now I'm at the bottom of the cliff. I feel like if I just very carefully turn myself around and also, you know, turn the parking brake off and whatnot. If I just very carefully go down these here. Oh, no, not, not that way, though. Not that way. We go this way. Back up, seriously. Don't, don't take too much of a drop. This way. This is going to get us down onto a lovely a flat section. And now we can just, yeah, mosey over to, yeah, a custom destination I've set over there on the map. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of in the center of this area. And once we're in the middle of this area, at that point, we can just start scouting around with the drone nice and easy. So, right, we've now made it down bottom. So, deploy the drone. And I think the problem was I just, like, yeah, dispatched it directly into a tree. There we go, much better. This time we got the information we need. And okay, now I need to wrap up by moseying back up to, uh, yeah, the top of the cliff. The problem is, uh, going this way, okay, that's that's a no-go. I'd say this is the better option. We continue round where we are, round here to about this location. Take a right here. And then we've rejoined up to the exact climb we already did when we came in here in the first place. Now that's got to be the better option. So okay, using that information, I now know what I think is the sensible way to go based on a scouting ahead. Though 
I do just enjoy the multi-level of scouting. Given, you know, you can use the map, but the map's a bit inaccurate. So, oh, hang on. Water. So right at the end, I can use, yes, the echo sounder, which tells me how deep water is. And on this occasion, right. That's looking very shallow right here. So I'm not too worried about that. We should be able to just blitz straight on through. No trouble. Out the water, though. No, not that. Not that over there. I was aiming for, like, you know, this tree, actually. Because I feel like I might struggle to get out of the water. Now I'm in it. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm increasingly suspicious I should have just, um, you know, gone around the body of water. I may have underestimated, yes, the problems that mud would represent. Especially given it's not a particularly big body of water. Okay, let's just, you know, tow ourselves out of here if at all possible. Okay, um, I've learned a valuable lesson, which is don't take relatively small cars into mud. It's just a bad idea, okay? Don't do that. Luckily, there is an option for me here. Which is, you're always allowed to do an emergency evac back to base. Which is really good news because, um, yes, this is also a location where we can, you know, resupply and whatnot. So, just help myself to some lovely fuel, magnificent, and now we just pretend that whole situation didn't happen. Alright, lovely. Expedition success for a certain, you know, limited definition of success. It was going really well right up to that last bit. So, you know what? I've learnt my lesson. Screw cars. Cars can't deal with mud. Let's take a nice big truck along. Not least as trucks have got, like, you know, sideboards and big infantry and whatnot. So I could take spare fuel. Anyway, we're nipping over to, yes, the Carpathians on this occasion. So, you know, we're going to have uh, a lot more trees danced about, which could potentially be... Uh, troublesome, but what can you cock it do? What I like, by the way, is, uh, yeah, there's like, you know, missions like we just saw, but, um, if you don't feel like it, it's a huge open world, just do what you want. So, you know what? I feel like going a bit off-road today. Like, more off-road than I already have been doing, with uh, unpredictable weather. So, just take a weather station to these two locations. Right, so step one, a given, yeah, the first one is over here. Looks like this is a good launching off point, the base I'm not in right now. So just nip over to, yes, my other base. And make sure we pick up a couple of weather stations, because otherwise, yes, that would have been very embarrassing when we got to the top of the mountain. Now, step one's pretty simple. All we need to do is, yes, mosey round over here. I've been on this route previously when they were just doing the tutorial for this level. So we can get to here without too much trouble. Admittedly, the getting from it here up the cliff, that's maybe going to be more of an issue. But you know what? I'm sure it's all fine. I'm in a truck now. Trucks can do anything. All right, screw the Jeep. The truck is what we want to be driving in. I've immediately got stuck in a tree, haven't I? But okay, step one, get back to, uh, yeah, the location I've been to previously. And uh, I feel like, yeah, if I lower the tyre pressure... And I'm in AWD tyre mode. We can probably truck. Stop making suspicious smoke, please. We can probably just get straight up this slope right here. And if need be, trees. We could just, you know, use my winch on a tree. There we go. That's right. The trees are going to... Uh-oh. 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 No. 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 No, no, no. No. Tree, don't betray me. Just pull myself up to the tree here. There we go. The tree didn't betray me. The tree was my best friend. Everything's fine. So, right. I've made it to the bottom of this gigantic cliff. Now, how the cock are we going to get up to the top of it? Well, okay. Time to put everything together here. Drone. That over there. That doesn't look so bad, does it? Yeah, you know what? Go round to the right here. Just, yeah, barely around the corner from where I am. Now that, we could go up. No trouble. That gets me up to here. We loop round to the left, and we're already most of the way up. Damn it. Right, parking brake off, back to the truck. Do not fall down the cliff behind you, by the way. 
And despite the large number of uh, trees in the way, that probably would have meant, yeah, had I tried to locate this on the ground, I never would have seen it. There we go. We've made it up to a very, very solid point here. And it looks to me like, yeah, the best option's going to be now just to follow round to here, loop up to here, and from there, it's a straight shot. I think that's not that bad. Just remember to put your tyres back to normal pressure when you're not actively climbing rocks or whatnot. So, right. Step one, make our way to here. Then take a... Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe take a moment to, to figure out. No, you know what? That's not that big a drop. That's all right. That's fine. Though, uh, yeah, as we're climbing, we may need to uh, slightly lower tyre pressure, if need be. Just a winch off of these highly convenient trees. And there we go. Nice and easy after that first a tiny, slightly sketchy bit, I say, getting immediately stuck on a rock. We're up to here. And we can just set up a weather station number one. Boom. Love it. Now, admittedly, weather station number two might be um, a bit more of a problem, given... Hang on, just um, just deploy the drone. I can't help but notice that appears to be on a completely unrelated cocking mountain. A mountain located on the far side of a gigantic swamp. This here is a terrible approach. But there's another base I could utilise right cocking here. Right, from my starting location... Down over here, mosey along this here canyon till we find a nice shallow way to approach the second weather station from the other side. Oh, you see, it turns out I'm a genius. Now we could just, yeah, go up this lovely shallow bit here, take a left, cut through the forest, and uh, oh my goodness, that looks to me like yet more shallow territory, presumably leading in the right direction. Okay, I'm going to be honest, um, looking at my destination and that rock formation, I'm suddenly deeply concerned that, oh, that's, that's what you want me to do, isn't it? You absolute bastards. Okay, we've made it, and, um, a couple of small problems here, which is, well, okay, one, the obvious, which is... Uh, this is not large truck territory. I'm suddenly feeling like I'd be happier in my Jeep. And on top of that, um, yes, like, trucks turn out to be fairly gas-hungry. So, we're kind of almost out of fuel, meaning if I don't manage this first time, I have nowhere near enough fuel to make it for a second go. So, camera, cooperate with me, please. This is, this is going to be difficult enough without you messing me about, all right? I feel like trucks were not meant to do what I'm about to do. Like, we're not really supposed to do uh, tricks and jumps in a truck, but... Okay, the camera in third person is just messing me about. So I guess we're doing this in first person now. It's just straight over to... No. No. No, no, no. 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 Okay, first person was a mistake. First person was... Third person's also a mistake. Come on, camera, please. I, I beg... We're out of fuel. I think we've officially run out of fuel at this point. I feel like I could just take the weather station and, like, carry it over there. But apparently, in this truck-centric universe in which we live, uh, that's just not going to occur to Bob here. He's just going to die up here, alongside his precious, precious truck. Oh, hang on a minute! No, he's not! I forgot about that spare fuel I brought! Okay, never mind, we're fine! Right, truck reactivates. We're fine. Alright, I'm glad we brought the fuel. And now, just careful, careful. What's the fastest this thing can go? Just... Rev her up and go, Bob, go, go, Bob, go, go, Bob, go! Okay. I'm going to be honest, the situation is getting worse, not better. I tried to back up to have another go at it, but... I feel like there's maybe no recovering from this one. And the truck still works too. Bloody tough truck. So there you go, that there is Expeditions of Mudrunner game, and uh, I can't deny, I do rather like this entire franchise. Just, you know, 
very often in video games. Driving is uh, so simplified. Just on occasion, it's lovely to be given a game where conditions are nasty and physics is a thing. And you've got a proper manual transmission and all sorts of other toys to play with. Just, ah, oh, I like this. This is a good time. I enjoyed SnowRunner. I like this too. I'll say, for the right person on the right day, this could be something really rather special. So, I'd say worth a look see and uh, yes indeed, I will very much be keeping my eye on this franchise. Like, you know, the next SnowRunner, MudRunner, etc. runner game, you can be sure I'll be giving that a look see too. So, hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Expeditions, a MudRunner game. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Wait, how does this how does this thing work? That's I put it on backwards! I don't know how to take it off now! You have bullets, what do you want? Aha! Okay, I figured it out. Round peg goes in round hole. I don't even smoke, but I kind of feel like now would be an appropriate point for a post-coital cigarette.